We're at the site of uh, Avalanche Fatality off Mount Henderson, outside of Cook City. What we believe happened was three riders came up this drainage here. They rode up this open slope. Two riders ascended up in this direction. One veered off towards the tree, the, the dead tree. Well, another continued up and left around this tree band onto this open slope. We believe he triggered the slope about midway up. It broke well above him. He was on his way down. The slide caught him. Pulled him down into here where he was almost entirely buried. The uh, toe of his boot was sticking out of the snow. His partners had him uncovered in 12 to 15 minutes. Unfortunately he did not survive. The slide came down, propagated all the way across the slope here, three to four hundred feet, about one to four feet deep. Pulled out some other slopes down here. The deposition is probably seven to ten feet. And it also caused a major sympathetic over a ridge line on another slope that we can't see that also pulled out three to four hundred feet wide, four to six feet deep. It was an extremely large avalanche. We're in the area where we believe the victim triggered the slide. I think he came up right through this notch here between these two trees, moved out onto the slope where he triggered the slide, was caught and brought down he was, the slope in front of us. He was carried about six to eight hundred vertical feet and he triggered it here but the weak layer collapsed and was able to propagate well upslope from where he triggered it and you can see the crown right up there near part of it's in the sun there about six to eight hundred feet above where he triggered it This was the slope that was triggered by the rider yesterday. This slide was able to collapse the weak layer across this ridge into the hole, into the next bowl, which sympathetically triggered this entire slope here. Broke out four to six feet deep. Fortunately, no one was involved with this slide. Both these slopes were heavily wind-loaded.